Hey guys, it's Ray at our voiceoverguy.com with another quick tutorial. And by quick, it probably usually means about 10 minutes. Um, wanted to really go over one of the requests that I had after my last video, which was mixing vocals uh, into your track uh, in a, a Adobe Audition 3.0. So uh, did a little searching on YouTube to see what was currently out there. Uh, there's a lot of, a lot of uh, tutorials on Pro Tools, a few on Adobe Audition. In fact, there was one that I thought was kind of funny. Uh, there was a, a guy who was showing how to do stuff. And listen, I don't, you know, begrudge anybody uh, for doing this. I mean, I'm doing this for free, uh, kind of, you know, trying to help people out. And I've, I've picked up some uh, voiceover work uh, because of it. So it's a win for me. Uh, but one guy had um, posted that he was uh, teaching folks how to do it uh, for 250 bucks and to hit them up. So uh, the, the, the ironic part, the funny part of the video was that you couldn't hear uh, any of the track that he was playing back. So he'd say, ah, oh, it sounds a little, uh, you know, too much delay. And he'd go in there and correct it and then play it and you couldn't hear anything. So uh, he showed the steps. Um, you just couldn't hear um, what had been done. So uh, hopefully we won't have the issue here. And uh, we'll go ahead and try to make this as quick as possible. But here is what we're going to be listening to and what we're going to try to mix and work on a few things that might help you in your final mix. All right, that's a little unknown girl that's out there right now. Her name's Rihanna, I believe. You might have heard of her. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Um, the, it's called Unfaithful. Um, great, great song. And we are going to go ahead and play around with this. Now, the reason that I started off by showing you the original version of this song is because you don't want to recreate the wheel. Uh, if you're doing something that is uh, in the rap game and you want to do something that's kind of Tupac-ish or... Uh, you know, whoever, if it's Kanye West, whatever it is that you're trying to emulate or be like or sound like, uh, or maybe you're not trying to sound like any of them, but your style is sort of of their style, um, pull up one of the tracks, throw it on Adobe Audition, look at the levels, look kind of where their, their instrumentals kind of, you know, uh, stay at in the waveform. And I'll go ahead and open this back up again. Um, when you hit the plus button here, you can kind of open this up a little bit. And you can tell when the instrumental starts off right here with some of the violins that come in, you kind of see where everything's at it. You know, negative six, negative five dB. That's where your kind of instrumental track goes all the way through here. As the vocals come in, you know, they kind of go a little higher. So it's anywhere from negative six to negative two decibel. Uh, and then you can see those right here along the side here. Here's your decibels. And you can watch kind of what's on a current mix that's out there and know where your you know, what you're going after, what you're trying to achieve. There's, you know, there's nothing wrong with piggybacking on someone else's success uh, if you're trying to do it right. If it's a standard in the industry that it's finally mixed down and, and vocals come out at about, you know, negative 5, negative 2 dB on a finished track and instrumental bed goes no higher than negative 6, well, you have some starting points to go with. And by no means am I an expert in mixing vocals. Um, I do a lot of voiceover work with music beds in the background, so I'm good at mixing those two. So my vocals are more the predominant thing that you hear all the time. Well, in music, sometimes that's not so much the case. Sometimes you need it to be this equal blend of 50-50, if you will, uh, and sometimes the vocals come up just a little bit more. Maybe you want some of the vocals to be a little bit laid back in the background, so... Uh, this will go after some of that. So you're able to take an existing track, whatever the song is that may be close to something that you're doing, and just try to emulate some of those decibel rates, uh, be it from the instrumental of the bed or the vocal track. Okay, so let's go back. Now, one of the things we're going to uh, right now, we'll go to, since we did that, uh, we'll head and mute that. We don't need that anymore. In fact, we'll just take... Um, I will keep that there for reference. We'll mute that track. We're going to go up here to uh, the instrumental, open that up, and you can see where this starts off. Take a listen. Mm -hmm. 
So you can see right in this area, right here, when the violins came in, you know, you're looking at probably um, negative seven to negative five with the violins that hit in there. So if you have a piece where you're doing some violins or a guitar that comes in for a small piece for a solo, you know, you can kind of get the idea of where this flows with the regular bed, the beginning track here and throughout here. Then here's some of your accents with the violins right here. And kind of play around with those so you kind of get the idea. You'll see in some of these higher patterns here. And if you know the song, that's the bridge just before the chorus. So that's the real dramatic kind of climax piece just before the chorus um, goes into the song. And you see kind of where this is at. And it kind of tells a story if you look at it, just like anything else, a good movie or anything you watch. There's a slow kind of beginning, maybe a little interesting, uh, you know, part to pique your interest to go back into the storyline a little bit, a little bit more dramatic. And then boom, right into the chorus through here. Um, and it's in a very, very emotional song. So you can kind of see that um, whole thing happening right before your eyes, which is kind of cool. So let's take that now and we will go to the a cappella piece and we'll start it right here. Uh, now, again, this is finished already. This, you know, already has reverb on there. And if you listen to the original, try to break down the vocals. You know, what are they adding to it? You know, are they widening it a little bit? Uh, are they adding some echo, a little bit of reverb, studio reverb? Um, uh, are they adding a little chorus to it? Do you hear any background singers, anything like that? So you're going to hear the echo or the little bit of reverb uh, in this track. Here we go. Story of my life, searching for the right, but it keeps avoiding me. Sorrow in my soul, because it seems that wrong. Really loves my company. Now, we're going to go ahead and mess around with this here, but you can see where the vocal tracks go all over. In this track as well, you can see where it clips here, um, right over zero. Um, so, you know, you want to go ahead and, and, and minimize that if you can. Uh, it's not too horrible. Um, but again, you can see that this has gone through dynamics processing. Um, it's gone through compression. It's very even, low and high. Um, so this work's already been done. On yours, you can go back to one of my other tutorials that talks about the everyday cleanup that I do on my vocal work, uh, which basically takes you through... Um, the dynamics processing, I go to Compander, um, make sure it's an S-curve. Uh, S um, I do that. Uh, after that, we go ahead and um, what else do we do? I can give you a couple things that we do real quick. Um, we go to Normalize, and that'll kind of bring up your peak, uh, peak volumes um, as close to the highest peak that you'll have here. If you have any kind of uh, clipping or anything like that, you can put hard limiting on it. Uh, we're not going to worry about that right now because basically this is a finished vocal. So we'll move forward um, with that. So uh, what we're going to do now is open this back up with multi-track. I'll show you a couple things that you can do with your voice. Uh, we won't need it on this particular track. We're going to get rid of this one now so we can open it up. Um, but what you, what you one of the things that you could do is make a copy of your vocal track, place it down here, and then you can, you can let you... Uh, Let's mute that. You can hear the two side by side. Story of my life, searching for the right, but it keeps avoiding me. Sorrow in my soul, cause it seems that wrong. Really love you. 